Evil Slothman here, back for another vid. It's been another week. Another week of a video. Ah well. Okay, Oak. Okay. This is going to be another pickups video, which is getting quite regular the, the last few weeks. Strange that. It's probably because I was saving for Amicon, so I was actually buying stuff the month before. And then I had that big pickup at Amicon and that with all the anime DVDs, which I was working for Gundam Wing. I got about 35 episodes in and I've took a little bit of a breather. So I'll go back to that, maybe tonight. Let's see, I've been watching a few more videos. I've been going back to watching videos on YouTube. I hadn't been doing that for the last few weeks, but I have been watching them. I haven't exactly been commenting on everything, but I will make a more valid effort to try. I went through and tried to do all the comments on my video. That was a bad thing. <laughs> I left that for like a month and oof, there was a lot of comments to fill out. I know it's like when you say you look at some videos and you got like seven or eight comments, but it's like you got seven or eight comments for about seven or eight videos. It's just like, ouch. But got them all done, apart from the newest one. Might do that tonight. So if you see some other comments come up, that'll be where it come from. But all right, went to Cash Converters on Saturday and picked up some games uh altogether this came to 22 pound or 23 pound it wasn't exactly expensive but some of the deals in here were pretty damn good the first one was advanced wars dual strike this is the first advanced wars games that came out in the ds and i've never actually played the series before a lot of my mates at uni were very big fans of it uh Especially one, he was a big fan of both Advance Wars and um, the other one, which is now just going to escape out of my mind. What was that? I like Advance Wars. Worms? How the <laughs> hell? <laughs> it's the one of the knights it's that has in uh, Smash Brothers. Fire Emblem. Um. <laughs> But I, uh, he was a big fan of both of them. They both play quite similar. And so uh, this is going to be my first test to see what I'm quite like with these games and see if I'm any good at it. It's kind of like mixing RP, uh, RTS with, uh, with bits of back and forth with army and that. So it is a pretty damn good game. It didn't have the manual, but it does have the cart in the box. So it's pretty decent. It was £5, I think, on its own. Next one, I've been playing this today, and it is a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, it is Punch-Out on the Wii. Now, I play this how the NES controls. So I play this with, like, you and the dodges and everything, all, like, with just, like, a NES controls. You supposedly can do it with the Wii remote and the nunchuck and do it left-hand punches, right-hand punches like that. And then use the balance board to dodge, which I do have. It may be interesting to do that for a video for funnies, but not the way I kind of like playing it. This It is really quite swift and quick when you do it with the Wii Remote. Uh, and just use it like an S-pad. Just do one, two for right-hand punches, one for left-hand punches, and left and right for dodge, forward for block, and back just to dodge completely. Next game, I found this really cheap, and I've heard some good things, I've heard some bad things, but there is a sequel out, so it was popular enough. Um, this is the Conduit Special Edition, and I don't think there was even a standard edition, I think you had to buy the Special Edition, <laughs> but it is all complete and in good condition, and... I haven't played it yet, but it is one of, meant to be one of the better FPS games on the Nintendo Wii. Like I said, there is a sequel coming out, but they've delayed it till next year because the old Power and Conquering GoldenEye will be coming out this year. Um, <laughs> which, after seeing the video Snestastic posted the other day, I am so totally looking forward to it even more now. <laughs> it's like, show me the game now. It has to be done. I will be posting the Wii friend code when GoldenEye comes out. I will go make a, an effort to go and actually look it up because I want to play multiplayer in this game. So it's going to be good. Me and Cyber Lanky are going to school some people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> License to kill, pistols only. only. You will find. <laughs> you will 
into a world of pain. <laughs> but I haven't actually tried it yet. I think I saw a video of Radio 3 doing playthrough, but that was a few months ago. So it's been a while, but the conduit itself is going to be really... Uh, I think it'll be decent enough. It's by Sega, and Sega doesn't really exactly release crap. Um, they have their moments, but not really. And the last game... The last game is just... I've seen this in GameStation about 10 minutes after I bought it for about four times the price. So, this is Star Wars The Complete Saga, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, uh, on the PS3, and this was £5, fully complete. It sells in GameStation for 20 quid, and I've always, always wanted to get the Lego Star Wars games, I've just never wanted to pay the expense, because they kind of hold their money a little bit better than a lot of games. So they don't go down in price that much. And I've always wanted to wait until it came down in price to get it. And, well, you can't get much cheaper than five quid for a PS3 game. So it was like, oh yes, we're having some of that. And you haven't played it. I was working yesterday, so after I got it on Saturday. And then, so, interesting. It's going to be good, though. I, if I like it, I'll go and see. Maybe I'll go and get Lego Harry Potter. We'll see how we go. Oh, and for the last thing, we've got, uh, well, let's say the caricature. You saw the caricature video that I, uh, Jace's face has put up last week. And he actually was kind enough to send me the picture for it. So here it is. <laughs> I'm a bit dreary. But I, my eyes are quite good. He goes it really well. <laughs> um... But there we go. So that came in actually really quickly after he said he was going to send it off. I think it was like the next day or the day after. It was really quick. So thank you very much, Jesus Faces, for sending that along. Um, that was about it. Apart from, for all you people, you must head over to Cyber Lanky's channel right now. He has a competition. You can win games. Lots of games. For free. <laughs> for free. What are you thinking? Uh, I'll put the li the link below. Uh, basically, he's got a competition running on his channel where he's put five pictures up from his multiplayer Halo adventures, which are very funny, but you have to come up with captions for them. And each game that he's set putting up is led to a specific picture. So... You just have to put in, was it two captions? You're going to have two chances on each yeah, one. Yeah, two chances on each one. And me and him are going to pick the best ones. And then we're just going to mail out the games. They're all Xbox title, but there are some real gems in there. There's some quality, quality games in there, like Burnout 3, uh, San Andreas, uh, Prince of Persia, Two Thrones, Conquers, uh, Bad Fur Day, well, Live and Reloaded, and Rainbow Six, wasn't it? Rainbow Six Blackout. Yeah, Blackout. so... There's some real quality games in there. So, if you want some games for your Xbox and that for free, just head over there. Totally go and check it out. We expect funny. Do not do something stupid. No. Well, actually, that's the point. Do something stupid and make, make it funny. Make us laugh. Make us laugh. That's the whole point. Right. I will be doing a gameplay video of Punch-Out tomorrow. I will see if I will use the balance board and the non... <laughs> We may just use that as like a small little two, three minute one just to see what it's like because it could be funny. Right. This is Evil Sloth Man.